Hey, what's up? This is Reed. A lot of people have been asking me recently about automating a fan with pull chains. I thought I'd make a quick tip video on how to do that with a smart switch that came out recently. I bought this smart light switch on Amazon while researching for the light switch comparison video that I'm working on. This is from Treat Life and it's unique because you can control the light brightness and fan speed all from one light switch. So if you have a fan with pull chains and only one light switch available, this might be a good option for you. Just make sure you have a neutral wire, but most houses built in the last 30 years will probably have them. It's easy to install and make sure to turn off the breaker before starting. To control the fan, you'll need a wire for that. Where I was installing it, there was a switch for the fan light and fan. I combined both wires into the Treat Life Smart Switch. If you're using a pull chain fan, make sure to turn the fan to the highest setting and then that way you'll be able to adjust the speed from the switch. This switch uses the Smart Life app and SmartThings and Smart Life are supposed to work together soon. You can already see it in the SmartThings app, but it doesn't work quite yet. The switch also works with Google and Amazon's assistants. When I added it to Amazon, it had Chinese characters for the fan light's name, but I just renamed it and it worked fine. I was able to dim the lights and change the fan speed with my voice, and everything worked as expected. This is way better than walking over the fan and using the pull chains. Turning the fan or light on or off from the physical switch is easy. You just press the button once. But if you want to adjust the brightness or the fan speed, there's a slight learning curve. If only the light is on, then the plus and minus buttons up top will dim the light. If only the fan is on, then the plus or minus buttons will change the fan speed. Now if both the fan and light are on and you want to change what the plus and minus buttons control, just double click the light button or fan button. Someone visiting your house might not know how to do this and holding down the button for over 3 seconds will reset the switch and put it into pairing mode, which is not the best design since other switches you can hold down the button to dim the light. These buttons have a click to them but they're very soft so I'm not a big fan of how they feel but it's not that big of a deal because you'll probably be using your voice or the app to control it anyways. The lights on the switch look good for the fan speed or the brightness. I saw an Amazon review saying they were too bright for them. I didn't really think so, but that's just my opinion. The price is slightly higher than other Wi-Fi smart light switches out there, but it kind of combines two switches into one, so that could be why. If you live somewhere hot like I do in Arizona, then you can have the fan automatically turn on when you walk into the room with an Amazon compatible motion sensor. The Echo Flex and Wise motion sensor have worked well for me, and if you decide to go with something like this, you could have the fan turn on a medium or high setting in the middle of the day when it's hot, or a low setting in the morning or at night. You could have your lights automatically turn off every night at the same time in case they were left on. You can do this using the Smart Life app or using Amazon. And I prefer using the Amazon routines for this because I have other devices that turn off at night as well. You could also turn off the fan or light if no one is in the room using the motion sensor to save on energy. And there is so much you can do with this smart switch. I'm also going to be covering a Zoos smart switch that has similar functionality. And I'll be doing that in a comparison video coming soon. So make sure you subscribe and notifications are turned on. Thanks to my sister Heather and her husband Joseph for letting me film this video in their house. I don't have pull chain fans, so I wouldn't have been able to make this video otherwise. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Turn off family room fan light. Turn off family room fan light. Wait, did you disconnect our account from Heather's light switch? Uh oh. Three.